Welcome to my channel. My name is Kirat. Me and my husband have known each other for almost 14 years, nine years of a relationship and more than four years in marriage. Some people call me lucky, some people call us couple goals, and some people even say that how is this even possible? But I want to tell you what I call it. Commitment. Commitment to sacrifice, commitment for love, commitment to understand, commitment to commit to each other through thick and thin. In this video, I'm going to talk about five mistakes you should avoid to have a successful relationship. First, not communicating enough with your partner. I know the fact that for some people, it's not easy to communicate their feelings. In my case, my partner is the one with great communication, but for me, it doesn't come naturally. I learned over the years to communicate everything and anything to my partner. I learned the importance of communication. If I suppress my feelings, my inner emotions, then what's the point? It can lead to resentment over time. If you consistently hide your emotions, they will eventually build up and can cause a rift in your relationship. This is the reason I openly and honestly tell all my feelings to my partner, no matter what. So communication is the key. Fianchu and I talk about anything and everything. We show interest in each other's conversation. I love to listen and he shares the same feelings on genuinely inter in listening to my thoughts and feelings. It's very important to have open and honest conversation with your partner. For me, it's hard to bottle up my emotions now. We do have a lot of conflicts too, but most of the time, if I am high on emotions, Fianchu tries to handle it calmly and respectfully, and I do the same when he is emotional too. Focus on finding solutions rather than winning arguments. The second thing that you should avoid is lack of trust and not being honest with your partner. For a healthy relationship, trust and honesty is a crucial component. For me and my partner, it was the consistency through the commitment. He never made any false promises. That's when I learned to completely rely on him. That's how trust is built, having open conversations. Trust is not built right away. If your partner is not respectful to your opinions or feelings, then problems can arise. Building trust takes time and effort, but by being consistent, open, and respectful in your relationship, you can strengthen this trust between you and your partner. taking therapy. There could be times when you find yourself stuck or you could be unhappy with the way things are. The biggest mistake when facing such relationship challenges, thinking you have to do it alone. I remember leaving India for Canada to build my career, facing the daunting challenge of starting a new life in a country where I knew no one. The struggle of long distance with my partner and even from my family was real. And while talking to loved ones provided me some solace, not everyone has someone that they can open up without fear of judgment or adding to their family's worries. If you and your partner struggle to communicate effectively, constantly argue, or have difficulty resolving conflicts, relationship therapy or therapy in general can improve communication and conflict resolution skills. That's where today's sponsor, BetterHelp, steps in. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and offer helpful, unbiased advice. First, you visit their site using my link, betterhelp.com, answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you to a professional experienced in addressing struggles similar to yours. You can communicate through phone calls, video chats, or messaging, whatever makes you feel most comfortable. Typically, you'll be matched with a therapist within 48 hours, helping you start the process swiftly. 
Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier and happier life by clicking the link in the description or visiting betterhelp.com. Not only you are supporting this channel, but you're also getting 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. Connect with a therapist and see if it helps you navigate your challenges, just like it could have helped me during my initial days in Canada. And even if you and your partner are going through a major life transition, such as moving, having a baby, changing in careers, or dealing with a loss, therapy can help you navigate these changes and strengthen your relationship. Fourth, taking your partner for granted. It's important to show appreciation and gratitude to your partner. Taking them for granted can make them feel unappreciated and leading to feelings of resentment. Having said that, it is not uncommon for one person to do more in certain aspects of relationship than the other. This could be due to various reasons such as difference in personality, abilities or circumstances. It's important to remember that relationships are dynamic and can evolve over time. There may be periods where one person needs to do more to support the other and vice versa. What's important is that both partners feel valued, appreciated and respected in the relationship. I am a person that will go above and beyond for my partner. I never miss the opportunity to make my partner feel special, be it on his birthday, Valentine's or anniversary. It's important to show affection, appreciation and love to your partner. With these small gestures, surprises and act of kindness, you can keep your romance alive. mistake that you should definitely avoid. Neglecting yourself. While it's important to prioritize your relationship, neglecting your own needs and well-being can lead to feeling of resentment and burnout. It's important to take care of yourself and maintain a healthy balance. Maintain your individuality. Me and my partner are totally different. I come from a different background. My husband comes from a different background. Yet, we respect each other's opinions and beliefs. For a healthy relationship, you should also give each other personal space. Allow each other to pursue their personal interests and hobbies. My partner and I never stop each other to pursue our passion. Even when I wanted to come to Canada back in 2014, my partner never stopped me from pursuing my career goals. This is why it is really important for you to give that personal space to your partner because it will go a long way and you will build a healthy relationship together. Grow together while maintaining the individuality, focus on growing together as a couple. That is really important. By following these guidelines, you can nurture a strong, healthy and lasting relationship. Remember, love is a journey and building a success successful relationship is an ongoing process. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Love you all. See you in the next video.